I don't know. <laughs> you have yeah. to watch to find out. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're looking at all upcoming movie musicals in the next five years. Do you want to go to that ball? Yes, I was just crying and singing about it like two minutes ago. There's dancing and music. You like that? You need protection with this ads and helping hands. For this list, we'll be giving a rundown of all the movie musicals headed to the silver screen over the next five years as of 2021. Although a Merrily We Roll Along movie was announced in 2019, they're filming it in real time, so it doesn't quite make our five-year cutoff by about 15 years. Now, are you sure you're still gonna want to be acting in 18 <laughs> years from now? I'm not, but this is a really special case. It's a it's an adaptation of a musical called Merrily We Roll Along, which is a Stephen Sondheim musical that I've loved since I was a little kid. Note that release dates and other details are subject to change. Which movie musical are you most excited for, and who would feature in your dream cast for it? Head downstage to the comments and let us know. Annette, release date August 6th, 2021. In 2016, it was announced that French director Léos Carax would be making his English-language debut with Annette. Set in LA, it's the love story of a stand-up comedian played by Adam Driver and world-renowned soprano played by Marion Cotillard. Their world is turned upside down by the arrival of their daughter Annette, who has a unique gift. Also in the cast are The Big Bang Theory's Simon Helberg and Belgian singer-songwriter Angèle. It also features an original soundtrack written by 70s art pop brother duo Sparks. They will be made available on Amazon Prime Video in mid-August 2021, following its July 6th debut at Cannes Film Festival and a limited U.S. theatrical release a month later. We love each other so much. Vivo, release date August 6th, 2021. Are you ready, Vivo? Presenting the one and only Vivo. After the success of his Tony Award winning musical In the Heights, Lin Manuel Miranda collaborated with Chiara Alegria Hudes once again on this story. Vivo is a musical kinkajou, a tropical rainforest mammal who embarks on a great adventure from Havana to Miami, with a very special note for famous singer Marta Sandoval, played by singing sensation Gloria Estefan. Miranda, who stars as the titular character, has also written 11 new songs for the movie. Sony and Columbia Pictures planned for a theatrical release, but this was canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Luckily, it won't be long now until we finally see Vivo on Netflix. Is this thing on? Respect, release date August 13th, 2021. Jennifer Hudson was born to do musicals. If her Oscar-winning film debut, yes, debut as Effie in Dreamgirls was any indication, it's that Hudson is not afraid to take on iconic roles. Well, now she can add the queen of soul to that resume. Directed by Liesl Tommy, Respect promises a soundtrack of Aretha Franklin hits and a story of a formidable woman who overcame obstacle after obstacle. The cast is composed of stage and screen royalty, from Forrest Whitaker to Audra McDonald, Mary J. Blige, and Heather Headley. Hudson, who knew Franklin, did the work behind the scenes to bring authenticity to the role. And we just can't wait to see it. She's a miracle! Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Release date September 17th, 2021. Is everybody talking about me? If you thought documentaries weren't great source material for musicals, this multi-award winning show might just change your mind. Based on the 2011 BBC documentary, Jamie, Drag Queen at 16, this musical drama follows Jamie New, who must overcome prejudice and wants to attend his school prom in drag. A drag queen should be feared. 
You won't believe the power it gives you. I don't just want to be one. I have to be one. Stop waiting for permission to be you. This show will pull at your heartstrings, but also leave you uplifted with its messages of acceptance, love, and pride. The original stage director, Jonathan Butterell, is at the helm again, making his feature film debut. In 2022, the stage show is also set to cross the pond. But in the meantime, you can get acquainted with Jamie's story on Amazon Prime Video. Dear Evan Hansen, release date September 24, 2021. Before La La Land and The Greatest Showman, Hasek and Paul had already taken the theater world by storm with Dear Evan Hansen. Ben Platt is putting the cast back on to reprise the principal role, a high schooler with social anxiety who fabricates a narrative that soon spirals out of control. Steven Levinson, who wrote the Tony Award-winning book, has adapted it for the screen. And Steven Chbosky of The Perks of Being a Wallflower fame is the director. Dear friend, I am writing to you because she said you listen and understand. The musical was hailed for creating a conversation around teen mental health, so it's great that it will reach an even wider audience with its theatrical release. I have to tell you. Cinderella, release date September 3rd, 2021. Camila Cabello is the latest star to slip on Cinderella's iconic glass slippers. The movie, written and directed by Kay Cannon, will revamp, modernize, and empower the fairy tale as we know it. The soundtrack consists of well-known pop songs, although Cabello and Adina Menzel, who plays her stepmother, created some original songs too. If it's a Also, have you seen how star-studded this cast is? Minnie Driver, Pierce Brosnan, James Corden, who's also producing, and Billy Porter playing the fairy godparent role under the name of Fab G. This marks Cabello's acting debut, and we can't wait to see it when the movie drops on Amazon Prime Video. This is it. Soon everyone will know my name. Come From Away, release date September 10th, 2021. Welcome to the rock if you come from away. You probably understand about half of what we say. They say no man's an island, but an island makes a man. Especially when one comes from one like Newfoundland. Welcome to the rock. A movie adaptation was announced between 2017 to 2019, followed by a long period of radio silence. So you can imagine our excitement when the writers announced that a first draft had been submitted in 2020. Based on a collection of true stories, this musical will uplift you and restore your faith in humanity. The plan for the film adaptation was to shoot on location in Gander, Newfoundland, where the residents had extended a warm welcome to the cast and crew for whenever filming begins. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic ruined those plans. With a recorded version of the original Broadway production staged in May 2021, set to be released on Apple TV Plus to commemorate 20 years since 9-11. Diana, release date October 1st, 2021. The trouble you can cause when you're underestimated in 2021, Diana would have celebrated her 60th birthday, so it seems a rather fitting year for a musical chronicling her life to hit our screens too. The writers, Joe DiPietro and Bon Jovi's David Bryan, who wrote the Tony Award-winning musical Memphis, looked to Diana's interviews and life stories for inspiration. It also features an original pop rock soundtrack, including a whole song just about that famous revenge dress. The show's Broadway debut in March 2020 was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Fortunately, a live recording without an audience was captured for Netflix. Starring Gina Duvall as the People's Princess, it's set to debut on the streaming service before it opens on Broadway. Tick Tick Boom, release date 2021. This is the life of 
Boba. Calling all rent heads, Jonathan Larson's 2001 semi-autobiographical rock monologue is headed for Netflix. Lin-Manuel Miranda's making his feature directorial debut. And Dear Evan Hansen book writer Stephen Levinson is adapting the screenplay. Andrew Garfield headlines as John, an aspiring composer living in New York. He's joined by Vanessa Hutchins, Robin DeJesus, Alexandra Shipp, Joshua Henry, Judith Light, and Bradley Whitford making up the principal cast. Hudgens also revealed that new songs have been penned for the screen adaptation in addition to those we already know and love. Although we don't know the exact release date yet, it's tick ticking closer every day. Canto, release date November 24th, 2021. Lin Manuel Miranda has reunited with Disney to tell a story that focuses on a Latinx family living in the Colombian mountains. Mirabel, voiced by Stephanie Beatriz, appears to be the only member of her family without a magical gift. When the magic is threatened, it's up to her to save the day. Gift or no gift, I am just as special as the rest of my family. Who wants one? All right, guys, where do I drop the wagon? Maybe your gift is being in denial. <sighs> the cast is so star-studded that we would need a whole list just to get through everyone. It's also being directed by the same guys who worked on Zootopia. Of course, Miranda is penning the soundtrack, which will feature songs in both English and Spanish. Could this be the movie that finally gives Miranda P-Got status? <laughs> Robin Robin, release date November 27, 2021. If you're a fan of Wallace and Gromit, then we have some exciting news for you. Ardman and Netflix have come together for this adorable looking stop motion movie musical. It's a. Uh, it, it's. Funny looking. Can we eat it? No, it's a. Uh, well, it's a Robin, I think. Robin, voiced by Bronte Carmichael, is adopted by a family of mice after her egg falls out of the nest. She's not quite a mouse, not yet a bird, but she is ready for adventure. Gillian Anderson voices the villainous cat, Richard E. Grant plays Robin's mentor Magpie, and Adil Akhtar voices Dad Mouse. This sounds like the perfect film to wrap up warmly with a mug of hot cocoa and watch with the family at Christmas. Can we keep her? <laughs> well, maybe. After all, she's only one little... <laughs> Robin. West Side Story, release date December 10th, 2021. The 1961 movie won 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Talk about a tough act to follow. Could it be? Yes, it could. Something's coming, something could. If I can wait. Still, with Steven Spielberg at the helm, something's coming and we can't wait. The remake stars Ansel Elgort as Tony, Rachel Zegler as Maria, and Ariana DeBose as Anita. The legendary Rita Moreno will also feature as Valentina, an updated version of the character Doc. We're so excited to see how our favorite numbers, such as America, Somewhere, and even G Officer Krupke have been reimagined. Like many others, the movie's release date was delayed due to COVID-19 but we're thrilled that there's finally an official theatrical release date. Somewhere. Sing 2, release date December 22nd, 2021. Guys, we're on right now. Now? <gasps> Stop. I need big shows, big ideas. Hey, I have a big one. If you love the first movie about a group of anthropomorphic animals battling it out in a singing competition, then you'll be thrilled to hear about its upcoming sequel. This time, theater owner Buster Moon has his sights set on a new venue and joins forces with his cast to make a splash and get noticed. Some of the original cast is joined by Pharrell Williams, Halsey, Letitia Wright, 
Eric Andre, and Chelsea Peretti. Jake, he is a sea witch in disguise. Do not sing into his show. And based on the first movie, we can expect more bangers as well. Oh, I've been shaking. I love it when you go crazy. You take all my what are you doing? Baby, there's nothing holding me back. It's such a fun, feel-good family flick that we can't wait to catch up with Buster and the gang again. Cyrano, release date December 25th, 2021. It's, it's sort of a play with songs. Um, and each one is very very different and unique from, from, from the next. Before he was Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones, did you know that Peter Dinklage had a stage career? Treading the boards once again in 2018, Dinklage starred in an off-Broadway production of this romantic comedy musical to rave reviews. Now he's uniting with Haley Bennett in this stage-to-screen adaptation directed by Joe Wright. Cyrano is a poet caught up in a love triangle with his distant cousin Roxanne and his friend Christian. If you haven't heard of this show before, it's been likened to Les Mis or Phantom in its style. It's the perfect holiday present from MGM Studios and working title films. Have you ever loved someone madly? Disenchanted, release date 2022. By the time this sequel's out, it'll have been 15 years since Giselle and company last enchanted us on the silver screen. I'm so excited for the cast that we have assembled because we have a lot of new talent and a lot of our old, our, I hate to say the word old anymore. I mean, it was fun when you were younger, but now I'm like, you know, uh, returning favorites. The fairy tale has faded, and when a spell to bring back the magic goes wrong, Giselle has until midnight to save Andalasia and her family. Filming for Disenchanted began in May 2021, with the Enchanted follow-up being directed by Hairspray's Adam Shankman. Alan Menken and Steven Schwartz, who earned Enchanted three Best Original Song Oscar nods, are back too. Maya Rudolph joins the principal cast as the villain, and this time, Patrick Dempsey and Adina Menzel get to sing too. Keep an eye out for any updates from Disney Plus on an official release date. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Matilda the Musical, release date December 2nd, 2022. This musical, based on Ruald Dahl's book, has been a fan favorite since 2010. In 2012, it scooped up seven Olivier Awards, breaking the record for most wins. The Broadway transfer also picked up several Tony Awards. Comedic songwriter Tim Minchin and book writer Dennis Kelly are reworking their musical for the silver screen, joined by Matthew Warchus, who directed the show both in London and on Broadway. We also know that Alicia Weir will play the titular bookworm, joined by Lashana Lynch as Miss Honey and Emma Thompson as Miss Trunchbull. The movie is set for theatrical release in the UK and on Netflix elsewhere. The Color Purple, release date December 20th, 2023. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel by Alice Walker was first adapted for the screen by Steven Spielberg in 1985. This time around, Spielberg is putting his producer hat on instead, joined by Oprah Winfrey, Scott Sanders, and Quincy Jones. The screenplay is being written by Marcus Gardley, and Blitz Bazawule, who co-directed Beyoncé's Black is King, is at the helm. Cynthia Erivo, who has since seen incredible success on stage and screen, played the character of Celie in the Broadway revival. There's no word on whether or not she'll reprise the role in the movie, but we can only hope that she'll feature in some way. I'm thankful for who I the Little Mermaid, release date to be announced. Lin-Manuel Miranda has been so busy that even Hamilton would implore him to take a break. Take a break, and get a break. He's joined forces with Alan Menken to pen new songs for the latest Disney animation to get the live-action treatment. Halle Bailey is starring as Ariel, and she's joined by a pretty A-list cast. 
which includes Davi Diggs as Sebastian, Melissa McCarthy as Ursula, and Aquafina as Scuttle, just to name a few. Bok, bok, bitch. Rob Marshall, who's no stranger to Disney or movie musicals, is directing, but sadly, COVID-19 put filming on pause, causing the release date to be moved several times. However, we're still hopeful for a 2022 release. Watch and you'll see. Wicked, release date to be announced. It's time to trust my instincts, close my eyes and sleep. It's time to try defying gravity. If you feel like you've been waiting forever for an update on a screen adaptation, then good news, it's finally happening. Steven Schwartz and Winnie Holtzman are adapting their hit musical for the silver screen, with John M. Chu on board to direct. And so for me, it's finding the truth of each song um, and working our way inside out of why that exists. Yes, of course, we're going to have Oz and you're going to be in this crazy world. Plans to get Wicked on screen have had many setbacks. Most recently, of course, the pandemic. However, in July 2021, Schwartz finally announced that following pre-production later that same year, filming will commence in 2022. After all, who among us hasn't already carefully planned out our dream cast? I'd like to be like in the crowd scene, like where's Waldo? There's no word on casting yet though, but apparently Chu is open to suggestions. Little Shop of Horrors, release date to be announced. If you were wondering why Little Shop is back on your radar, you have Chris Evans to thank. What's going on with Little Shop? What's going on with Little Shop? Who, who do I have to talk to? What do I have to do? He's been drumming up support for the remake of a remake, in which he's rumored to star as sadistic dentist Oren Scrivello. No, I don't. Sometimes... Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. The cult B-movie musical, which was written by Alan Menken and Howard Ashman, will be directed by Arrowverse creator Gregory Berlanti. Other rumored casting includes Scarlett Johansson as Audrey, Taron Egerton as Seymour, Billy Porter as Audrey II, and British girl group Little Mix as the Greek chorus. And I'll give you everything you want. He's a villain. And I like, I don't get to play villains very often. So get ready. Cause he's gonna be everything, all of the things. No official announcements have been made as yet. So a release date is probably still a while away. I'm thrilled to, to be a part of that. Uh, again, this is all, it's, it's one more job that's kind of uh, um, up in the air right now because I think a lot of people have a lot of a lot on their plate. Before we unveil our top pick, here are the latest updates on some more announced slash upcoming movie musicals. Sunset Boulevard, release date to be announced. Filming was postponed due to COVID-19, but could Glenn Close be reprising her role as Norma Desmond? Feel the magic in Pinocchio, release date to be announced. A star-studded live-action adaptation of the 1940 flick. Tom Hanks as Geppetto? Yes, please. Release date to be announced. The musical will be released on Netflix. We have a cast, filming is underway, now we just need the date. A chorus line, release date to be announced. Ryan Murphy plans to turn the 1975 musical into a limited series for Netflix. Five, six, seven, eight. Fun Home, release date to be announced. Jake Gyllenhaal is producing and starring in the adaptation of this Tony Award-winning musical. Gypsy, release date to be announced. 
The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel creator Amy Sherman Palladino is set to direct, and Melissa McCarthy is rumored to star. You either got it or you ain't. And boys, I got it! The Hunchback of Notre Dame, release date to be announced. A live-action adaptation produced by, and possibly starring, Josh Gad, with music by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz, is out there. Give me one day out there, all I ask is one, to hold forever out there. Be More Chill, release date to be announced. Greg Berlanti and Sean Levy will be taking this hit musical from stage to screen. Beautiful, the Carol King musical, release date to be announced. Tom Hanks and Sony Pictures are adapting this biographical musical for the screen. Fiddler on the Roof, release date to be announced. Hamilton director Thomas Kale is producing and directing this remake for MGM. Follies, release date to be announced. Dominic Cook, who directed the acclaimed National Theatre Revival, is on board for the movie. It's a huge project, it's got a massive cost, um, but um, I'm pleased with where it is creatively at the moment. Guys and Dolls, release date to be announced. Could we possibly see Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Channing Tatum star in this movie remake? Jekyll and Hyde, release date to be announced. Birdman writer and Academy Award winner Alexander Dinelaris Jr. is reportedly attached. This is the moment, my final test. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, release date to be announced. Andrew Lloyd Webber and Elton John have plans for an animated version of this musical. Lissa Strata Jones, release date to be announced. Andy Fickman, who took Heathers from screen to stage, is set to direct this film adaptation. Memphis, release date to be announced. Plans to turn this musical into a movie were first announced in 2012. Miss Saigon, release date to be announced. Cameron McIntosh hopes to recreate the success of Les Mis's stage to screen journey. As long as you can have your chance, I swear I give my life for you. Molly and the Moon, release date to be announced. Jonathan Groff and Kristen Bell will star in this movie musical from the How I Met Your Mother creators. Once on this island, release date to be announced. We'll be able to see this multi-award winning musical on Disney Plus. The only question is when. And whatever you need, mama will provide. Pippin, release date to be announced. Last we heard, the adaptation escaped the clutches of a disgraced movie producer. Porgy and Bess, release date to be announced. Oscar nominee Dee Reese is both writing the screenplay and directing, while casting has begun. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, release date to be announced. West Side Story's Rachel Zegler was announced as the titular role in June 2021. I'm Snow White! <laughs> Spamalot, release date to be announced. As of January 2021, the Monty Python movie musical moved from Fox to Paramount. I am Spring Awakening, release date to be announced. Plans for this movie were first announced in 2009, but it seems like it's finally happening. The 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, release date to be announced. Disney is working on the film adaptation with team members from the 2019 live action Aladdin. Lugubrious. Meaning extremely sad and droopy. More or less, yes. It's a topic I am all too familiar with. One moment, please. Watch this technique. 
He calls it the magic foot. Greatest Days, release date to be announced. Take That's Gary Barlow confirmed the movie based on the band musical is set for 2021. But when? The King and I, release date to be announced. Paramount Pictures and Temple Hill are in the early stages of remaking this movie musical. On the clear understanding that this kind of thing can happen, shall we dance, shall we dance, shall we dance? The Shags, Philosophy of the World, release date to be announced. In 2018, Elsie Fisher was announced to headline this biographical movie musical. Wonka, release date to be announced. Timothy Chalamet will play a younger version of the character in a musical origin story. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Mean Girls, release date to be announced. She doesn't know yet. No, she doesn't know yet. In 2018, Tina Fey took this popular teen flick from screen to stage with her husband and composer Jeff Richmond and lyricist Nell Benjamin. Now the musical, which received 12 Tony nominations, is headed back to the silver screen. It's still early days, though. With Faye telling Variety in May 2021 that they're still looking for a director and that she's unlikely to take the helm. She also said that it was unlikely that any of the OG Broadway cast would be reprising their roles. We probably won't hear any updates for a while, but how fetch would it be if it was released on October 3rd? On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.